Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Stephanie. My content focuses on plus size style. Um, a little bit of lifestyle is coming soon, so just, you know, hold on tight with that. Um, that being said, I am back this week with another Target haul. This will be two hauls in a row, so don't count it against me. <laughs> However, um, they had a second release for the designer collection, and I got a little bit more of the Kalana Barfield collection and two more items from two different designers. So I just wanted to show you what I have. Uh, apologies to my current subscribers. Um, I was not able to video last week. Um, I am listening to myself and really making my mental health a priority. Um, that being said, I know I just got back on the scene and all that. But I will prioritize my mental health at all times. So that week was just not weaking. That's all I have. <laughs> um, when I get to a point where I have, you know, videos in a vault for me to post in between times, in the meantime, I am going to be so grateful so I don't have to worry about that. So there'll, there'll just be one less headache I have to deal with. But anyway, you're not here to listen to my rant. Um, it'll be a separate story um, of what's going on or what has been going on in my life. Um, I think I said that on the last video. I just haven't sat down and been in a mental space and not sit here and cry or you know what I mean like be in a bad spirit about it I want everything that I go through to be a teaching lesson for somebody else so that way you know that you're not alone in this world so moving right along um like I said I got a couple of pieces my little rack is over there that's why I'm staring to the side and we're gonna start with a piece that I didn't care for um oh and to let you guys know I am wearing a little shapewear in this video this is a light one from Sansi um it's a short it is very it's shorter than what I normally wear because the ones I usually wear come down here. But one of the skirts that I'm wearing is a little bit of a shorter skirt. And I want to be able to wear this underneath it and hike it up a little bit because hike the shape wear up a little bit because the skirt is short. So now that that's all out, let's get in to the haul. Okay, you guys. So the first piece is from the Future Collective, Kalana. Kalana Barfield. Um, it is, I don't think they have um, a description, no, but it's a copper blouse. It was very cute on the model. I got a 3X. I am just knowing lately that unless it's a really sleek black turtleneck, things like this don't look good on me. Um, it has poofy shoulders which I love, but I need the poofy shoulders to be in combination with a lower um, neckline because this is, it's just a lot. I'm already tall, I'm 5'7-ish, um, or a little bit above, that's why I say ish. I, I have broader shoulders because I'm a plus size gal. I mean, I, I know not everybody's built the same, but I am a little broader. Um, so when you add the sleeves and the high neck, it's just a whole lot, a whole lot. of. So I'm just, I honestly don't even want to try it on, but yeah, I'll just show a picture of this next. I just want to get it out of the way. It's cute. Um, if I feel led to try it on and insert a picture, I will. But like, I don't want anybody else to be discouraged because I feel like if you're not as top heavy as me, this is a really cute blouse. So just throw on with a little skirt or a pair of slacks, like a long pair of slacks um, and some cute pumps. Or some flats for work. I mean, I think it's really cute. It's just not, it's not going with this flow. Okay. Okay. Woo, I'm showing everything. Um, the second item I'm going to show you guys is this cute sequence. It's a matte sequence, which I love about it. Um, it is a cute skirt. And I got this. I just want to show you together because it's a cute little purse. I love the buckle on the front. Really cute. It does have a crossbody, but I'm not going to use the crossbody. Um, these are both from the collection. And to be 100%, I'm not sure if it was this collection or the first collection I never saw. But I, I'm, I thought it was this collection. Um, and this one, I got a 2X. And I'm glad I did because if I would have got a 3X, I don't think I would have liked it at all. I will say upon trying it on, I was on, I'm immediately on the fence because... I feel like if it was a little bit for my body shape, I have a lot of why would this why 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 is this happening? <laughs> I 
I have a lot of hip dips, the way the stomach is set up. I don't know, on my frame, it didn't flatter me. I have to wear something larger with this, so it will be, the silhouette will work on me. I would not wear it with just like this and a turtleneck, which I think that'd be super cute, like with tights, black tights, black turtleneck, some booties, maybe some patent leather booties or something. Um, but that being said, I can't do that because I'm just not set up all up in here like that. I have the apron, the fupa, the hip dips. I'm not, now if you're hourglass, I think this would be perfect for you. If you have a really pretty even hourglass um, without a lot of stomach dipping and everything going on, I think this would be wonderful for you. But I'm going to try it on because I want to show people that sometimes it's all what you pair with it to make something work on you. So we're going to try this on and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, a lot of skin showing. I apologize. Please don't censor me. Um, but as you can see, I just want to show you the skirt on its own. Now, keep in mind, I have some shapewear on. So when I first put this skirt on, it looked nothing like this. It was a lot of hipping, a lot of dipping. That's the only thing I could say. And I don't know if you can tell how the skirt kind of, instead of being more body fit, it is a little bit more straight. So, it, you know, pokes out in the back. Which is fine, um, depending on what you're wearing with it. But like I said, I do have shapewear on. You're going to have to make sure you have something with a little length. And I think that's kind of good because if something happens, wardrobe malfunction, you kind of don't want nothing to be down there. <laughs> but it's a cute skirt. I really like it. Um, I don't mind the length. It's just on me, uh, per se. So I plan on... Pulling this from her collection. This is from her first collection. It's the oversized shirt. And I think I'm going to put the, that purse I showed you in these little heels. I poshmarked these, but they are heels from Shein with little feathers on it. So, you know, you can do that or you can pop a color or you can do a black top or something like that. If that is something that concerns you as far as your setup all up in the middle. Okay, so um, let's try to put this together and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I really like the way the look came together. Um, it's like the silver and the white is so angelic <laughs> with the feather. Like, I'm an angel, but I have potential to do something else. <laughs> I don't know where I get this shit from. Okay, so, but I just like the look. Like, it's the mini is mini. -ing. Like, it is getting leg on leg on leg. However, the white button up brings it down. You know what I mean? It gives it that, we know how to do this. We know how to hit the bar. We know how to this look cute and chic, but like show off the things that matter if that case. So, you know, sometimes, you know, people, it's always a rule. And I will say I do stick beside it because I feel like when you're showing one thing, leads to other parts of your imagination. Now, I understand if, <laughs> I understand to the girlies who got it. And that's what they want to do, show it all, let them show it all. I'm not here to police anybody's style. However, I think when you get to a certain point, you just kind of want to, you know, tread a little bit more light, lighter, you know, just kind of, I don't know, air on the, you know, to the end of sophistication. You want to be sophisticated. I think this is really cute. It is very toned down, but you're still dressed up. It is very, like, you know, it's not a whole bunch of skin at one time, which I think makes the outfit. The shoes are cute. I know a lot of people are not into the clear heels and the heels anymore, but, I mean, I think it's cute. What you think? Oh, and one more thing. When you're tucking in, my tip is if it doesn't... Okay, some blouses have a split hem on the side, tunics. This has a split hem, but only to a certain point. Unbutton where you're going to tuck. When you tuck it in, go a little bit under. Like, you want to go towards this panel. That makes sense. And pull it inwards a little bit. It'll keep the silhouette nice and neat. And then kind of this kind of 
bunch the material a little bit to where it's forming a line it goes this way and it just cuts into your figure a lot better gives you the shape that you are so that's that um let's move on to the next item okay you guys so these pants are so cute to me i it's funny i went in to grab that silver purse because i was like i need a silver purse because i never have it when i need it to go with my plain silver shoes from target um and I saw these on the corner because you know Target will place the stuff on the corner and you'd be like, damn. God damn, Target. <laughs> so that being said, I picked these up. I didn't even try them on. I got a 3X, I think. No, a 2X. Because I held them up. I was like, okay, these got a little stretch in the waist, which they do in the back. Um, and then this corset. I think this is a 3X. I'm pretty sure it's a 3X because I didn't, I ordered the corset. The pants and the little bag I got in the store. The corset, or I guess it's considered a corset. Bustier, whatever, she's giving. Like, okay, normally in real life, you're not wearing a tan bra, but you can wear your black bra with this. Is. <laughs> like, you want to be sexy? Let's be sexy. Let, let, let's put them out there. Let, let, let's. She did her thing with this. Look. Kalana, I don't know what you doing in the laboratory, but girl, keep mixing. Keep mixing it up. <laughs> but anyway, thought this was super cute. Um, but anyway, love it. Love these pockets. Look at the detail inside of the pants. Look, this. Look. And look at the split. Now, they are super long. I am five, seven and some change, maybe. Five, seven-ish. Something like that. Um, you see how long they are? So my petite girls, you're going to have to get these hemmed a lot if you want them. I don't even know if I have seen any petite girls wear this because I can see why they wouldn't. It's super long. And by the time you cut inches off of it, it takes away the whole, you know what I mean? The little split at the bottom, but so cute. The tuxedo black trim is wonderful. Um, I have my shapewear on underneath. I just tucked it, but... Shapewear is mandatory. It has a lot of give. Because I tried it on without shapewear and I liked it. Um, like I said, black bra with this. Excuse me, girl, I'm doing laundry. So, don't come for me. But I love this. So, let's style it. So, I need to re-up on my shoes. I think I really want a metallic pair of pointy toe pumps. To kind of give me a little zhuzh on some of these outfits that I'm creating. But for now, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna pull these out again because the coloring is good and you're really gonna see just the peep on these. Um, then we're gonna, we're gonna do either this bag or this Bottega inspired bag. One of those. I like the stripe because it gives a little extra. It gives a little bit of texture, a little bit of print added to it. I love mixing prints when I can. And then we're going to do the leather blazer and some aviators in a gold finish. So if you're not following me, just follow my lead. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so with this particular look, I have the jacket on, but it kind of made everything swim a lot because of the volume of the pants. I felt like I was swimming in the fabric from like bust line to where the um, hem is. So I figured this is really a good moment to have an over the shoulder moment. It's like I'm bringing some leather in this um, and I got you a little sparkle and that's all you're getting. You know, you got peekaboo of where it cuts off. So you get a little skin here. Got a little, you know, decolletage. I decided to go with this bag because it just gave the outfit another layer of dimension. Um, I style how I want to style. This is just giving you recommendations. Of course, a plain black bag would be fine um, if you wanted to go the gold route. 
you could do gold. A little tag is sticking out, sorry, but you could definitely do gold. This is a little faux Bottega moment from Just Fab. Um, I have not yet invested in Bottega yet. I am, certain things are on my list. This bag is kind of there. I, I, at first I wanted the cassette bag, then I like these. I'm like, I don't know. I have to see how much I'm loving these. I do have a cassette dupe that I didn't know was a dupe until I got it. Don't judge me. I got it on Poshmark. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. That's all I'm saying. We'll see. But I really do think that's an option. But I don't know. Something about this bag is just like giving. It's just extra. Now, if you can find something with a nice stripe like this. And the reason I like this because the gold is lending to the gold that's running in this outfit. This gold color excuse me um and then the stripes are giving it dimension so i'm kind of feeling the stripes Let's see this right here for a moment but what do you think i think she's cute she's going out um it's still really long with the heels now i don't wear tall heels you guys these are a three inch heel um maybe two and a half three inches i don't wear tall heels i can't um that being said if you did a four inch heel that would make a lot of difference in this. But I like the way it sweeps the bottom. I don't like my, I don't like pants to float too much on top of the heel. I give it a quarter of an inch and I think it just looks windy. It makes your pants sway. If you're heavier, it just doesn't lend well. But anyway, let me know what you think. Okay, you guys, so we are getting near the end. I have two dresses. Um, one, you know what? We're going to get into it. <laughs> We're going to get into it when I try it on. Granted, I like the dress. I'm just going to tell you why. We're going to get into it. Just, 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 I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so this dress is from the designer Kiki Vargas. I love the volume of the sleeves and the dress. I think it has a very pretty gothic feel to it. Um, I don't know if you can see, but look at the, there's a print to this. It has a beautiful scalloped, almost a hibiscus, I wanna say flower in it. Um, it comes off as a silky organza-y type fabric, but opaque. Uh, it's really, really cute. Um, that being said, like in the previous clip when I told you let's discuss this dress, I like this dress. I think it is kind of cute like this. Um, I'm wondering if maybe a belt. You could definitely wear it. I, for me, I would need to cut it up a little bit with a belt. You, you get what I'm saying? I like it like this. Now... The reason I was on the fence is because, like I said earlier, earlier, earlier in the video, I think I am in the, well, I, I, I know that nine times out of ten things that have a better, um, oh, I'm sorry, not a better, a V-neck line suits me a lot better. Um, bear with me, you guys. I am cleaning as I'm going because it's taking me an act of Congress to clean this filming room. I'll put it in my stories. It just gets so messy so quick. So I'm trying to clean as I go. So you see me put things, well, you won't see me, but behind the scenes, I'm putting things away. So when I'm done filming, it's not chaotic in here. But anyway, you see this, it's really cute. The detail is the scalloping in the back. I think it's gorgeous in the back. However, I hope it's showing. I could tighten it a little bit, but it's a scallop in the back. I hope you can see it. Um, but however, for me, I like the dress the other way around. Now, I hope this is not offensive to the designer. I'm going to put the little string in the back. 
The only caveat is it does have a seam, but I didn't care. Like, I just didn't care. I thought it was so pretty like this on me. It just, you see the difference in how it lays on me? Even the pockets feel like they're the right way now. <laughs> the pockets, for some reason, felt like they were backwards. Everything just feels better on me. Now, yes, I do have this tragic white bra, which I just really need to tie up this tie a little bit better. Okay, it's a little better. I, I wanted it a little looser, so I'll fix that and post, um, you know, after I come back. But I like the empire, I like it better as an empire waist, which is from the get-go. It's just a little bit more, it's all here. And I think I need that V. So I think that looks really pretty. Just like that. Um, it still has the scallop details. So it's almost like framing it out. I just think it looks so much prettier that way. So how am I going to style it? I want grunge on this one with a little glam. With a little glam. So I'm going to wear my favorite Torrid Combat. These things are bay. I love them. They have ribbing, sweater type, sock booty material right there. The uh, faux leather, not real leather, but very good. It holds up. And this zipper up front, I love these. Love these. And to add a little razzle dazzle, um, I have this purse. This is from Target, too. I don't know the brand. I snatched the tag off. Did I? Oh. Issue Universal Thread. I snatched it off on my shoot. I did video this. Um, I'll show that video on my shorts as well. The reel that I did. It's so hard because vid YouTube shorts are only like 15 seconds long. Where your music cuts off at 15 seconds. I think that's so stupid. If you're going to try to be like another platform, give me at least 30 seconds, please. Thank you. Greatness needs longer than 15 seconds sometimes. Just saying. And then these cute... Sunnies. Um, I like them because they have the same rose gold knit. It's pulling from the rosiness on this one. I don't know where these came from either. They probably came from Target. Knowing me. Because I love Target. Can you tell? Target sponsor me. <laughs> but yeah, really cute. Got those. So let me put everything on. And I'll be right back. And adjust this string because it's not stringing. Okay, you guys, so it's a look. <laughs> love my <laughs> love my combats. I love this purse. Like, I am going to rock this purse more than y'all think I am. It was like, I think it was like $25, something like that. But when I put it on, when I found it, I was like, this is perfect. Because I had already looked in the purse section a little bit. And I was like, nothing is giving to pop against this outfit to give it a little bit of grunge and give it a little street this does it like i'm going to so wear this with black joggers you know what i'm saying like black joggers hoodie sneaks black hat moment is happening with this purse um just real simple outfit is happening with this purse um blue jeans white button up sneaks this purse <laughs> but anyway i love it i love the industrialness that the strap gives it gives that old school i forgot what they call guitar strap type of look really cute boots like i said tori they don't have these anymore but tori is yo if you are plus size and have a wide width shoe tori got some boots for you i'm just saying but it's such a look the dress is gorgeous i like it like this i know no respect to the designer. I see what you were doing. And yes, it can be worn the other way. But like, I did a shoe yesterday with this look. You couldn't tell me nothing. I was cute. Cute. Anyway, so this is really cute. Um, if you're not following me, if you're not following me on Instagram, yo, follow me on Instagram. It's at Lux Plus Life Blog at Instagram, blah, blah, blah. But my handle is at Lux Plus Life Blog. I put it on the screen somewhere here. 
post editing Stephanie, better not forget that. But yeah, I just love it. It's cute. And, it, and you, you still have the back. It's high. It just makes sense to me on my frame. You just got to know what to do to tweak fashion to you. Sometimes things on the rack may not appear. So it's always good trying stuff on, trying it on different ways, styling it different ways. So that's that. And I have just one more item with you. Um, that particular one, I styled and did a shoot for that one too. Um, but I can show it to you. Hold on. It is this one. It is by the, the Line Collection. It's a very pretty fall piece. It's very romantic, poetic. Um, I did it with a pair of combat boots when I shot with it. I'll be in here if they are in here. And a cute little um bag that I got from a um oh my god, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> a Amazon seller she wanted me to show off. So I'll insert footage of that too. But it's so cute. I just like it. It's fall. Honey, I'm in the South. I have Southern moments. I, you know, I love my edginess. That's why I was talking to my niece the other day. I was like, my guilty admittance is, I don't know if I have a defined style. I like fashion. So I dress how I feel. And sometimes I feel like this delicate little girl with flowers, cute shoes, cute boots. Look, Starbucks, basic bitch. Just saying. But let's go try this on and you can tell me what you think. <clears throat> okay, you guys. So I jumped the gun and went ahead and styled this straight up because it was a really easy style. Um, I really like this dress. I think it's cute. Has the smocked bust area. Smocked on the wrist, which leaves you with a nice billowy sleeve. The material is light and flowy. It's not clingy. It's just a real easy dress. Um, there is a split on the side for those who want a little bit of leg. I threw on a pair of coach mules in the matching coach bag. I'm pretty sure none of this is available. Well, the mules probably might be, but I don't know about the bag. But if I find it, I'll link it below. Um, I love this pair because it elevates a simple outfit really quick without you thinking about it. It can be a jeans and a t-shirt. They're on the pair and you're just pulled together like together so but a really cute dress really cute um like i said i went ahead and styled it so you could um see it in a more chill work appropriate mood um but i will insert a clip on one of my sides um of how i kind of wore it during the shoot i put a pair of white not white but like cream combat boots with it and this cute i'll show you the bag and a cute little bag I got from this Amazon seller. I thought it was super cute. Little edge with a chunky chain. But yeah, so that's what I end up wearing this with. Sit it down right here. Um, but I think this is so cute. And I I will say I had a ball so far supporting Kalana's collab on this but these other designers came too so when you're going I know I know I know you know we want to support our African-American designers but take a look around and see what else you like and incorporate what you can incorporate in your wardrobe um but that being said that's all I have yeah that's all I have for this video I showed you all the things and I guess I'll see you in the next video I'll talk to you soon Bye.